Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Right here in front of us, I have Elena Savostakova. I'll give her the floor to introduce herself. Hi, guys. My name is Elena Savostakova. I'm an actress. I'm originally from Russia, and I, I started coming to the United States when I was little for tennis. And I moved to Los Angeles, where I currently reside 11 years ago, and this is where I'm currently at and loving it. All right. Thank you so much for that introduction. Um, I guess we'll just get straight into it. So a few questions we have for you today. I'll start with the first one is, uh, what got you into acting originally? Since I was little, I was always acting in a lot of different commercials and plays and performing. Uh, and then I got into tennis. And when I was 11 years old, my dad set me down. He's like, Elena, you're an adult now. I was like, okay, this is going to be good. He's like, you have to make a decision. Uh, you're either going to be a lawyer or you're going to be a professional tennis player. And I was thinking to myself at 11 years old, I'm like, oh, I don't want to be a lawyer. And I'm like, yeah, dad, I'll be a professional tennis player. And so that's how like the whole tennis thing started. And this is how my family migrated to the United States. I wanted to touch my life, like other people's lives with my emotions, with performance, maybe make somebody's day happier or express myself through them and ultimately I remember that day when I didn't the, like the compelling feeling and desire and knowing exactly what I want to do was stronger than the fear of my parents <laughs> telling my parents that and that's the moment I was like you know what one way or the other whether my parents approve or not I'm going to be an actor well, it's great. I, I love that story and that background, and I appreciate you sharing with that us that with us. I think that's really motivational to other young actresses or actors who want to do the same thing and maybe are fearing the thoughts of whatever their families are thinking. Also, I appreciate you telling us that. Um, the next question I want to ask are: What are some challenges you have faced uh, throughout your acting career? Maybe in the industry, or maybe just other people you've had to work with or overcome. Just anything at all. Go ahead and share it. Some of the challenges I think I faced was I, when I moved to Los Angeles, I didn't know anybody. Uh, I was 19 years old. I literally packed my car and moved across the country. Everybody thought I was insane, completely insane. And everybody tried to discourage me. People were like, oh, you know, it's so tough. You're not going to make it. But the, growing up with tennis or any um, major sports, I think, especially individual sports, when you don't have a team to rely on, you can only rely on yourself. What it really teaches you is discipline. It, and I'm so grateful for tennis because it taught me tenacity. It taught me, you know, just to put in the work regardless of what anybody says. And so if anything, people doubting me, that gave me more fire and more urge to succeed and prove them wrong. And so the biggest challenge I faced was figuring it out on my own. The urge to be in this industry, even at the time where I was unsuccessful, was bigger and it just kept me here. And I'm so happy that it did. I, that's a really well put answer. And um, I really appreciate that. I would, jumping back to something you mentioned earlier on in one of our first questions, uh, you mentioned that you uh, you had an experience immigrating into this country um, from immigration, so into the U.S. And how did your immigration or your story affect you the differently compared to other actors? Or how would you say it set you forward or back? And what was that experience like that impacted your acting? I think everything in life is perception. You can look at something as an advantage or a disability. And to me, um, there's a lot of Russian television that I watch. And like I mentioned, growing up watching Russian plays, I think if anything that really added in Russia, I mean, in actors, we have this little thing we call the toolbox. And it's whenever you go into an audition or things you use on, uh, on set and the toolbox is kind of um, things made out of your sense of memory, right? Whether it's smell, touch, a certain song you listen to that makes you sad and you can just like snap into it and go into that place. So for me, there was a lot of things in that toolbox that came from my culture. Being Russian and having the benefit of experience a different culture, it made me a more diverse actor. All right. Um, the next question would be that, uh, what roles do you typically go for when you're going into acting roles? Is there anything you consider when you're looking 
at a script or when you're looking to go into an audition? My background initially is in comedy. And I always thought comedy was my forte. Recently, I've been drawn into more like psychological thrillers. Honestly, what I'm looking for when I'm reading a script is number one, a well-written script. Uh, number two is who's the writer, who's the director, what have they done before? If they haven't done anything, where have they, where have they studied? It's very important as an actor, especially like as a working actor to do your homework, which again, like going back to the previous question you asked me, one of the challenges I didn't know any of this. I didn't have anybody to have my back. So there's a lot of roles I did that I maybe I wish I would haven't done. And the reason I did them is because I was so desperate to be on set. I was so desperate to work. Also, have I done these roles before? Because there is a few roles that we get typecast, right? If you've done before, uh, directors see it or producers see it and they want to hire you for that role. But I'm not interested in playing that role again. I've already been there, done that. So for me, I really want to do roles that I haven't done yet. What's a piece of advice that impacted you early on in your career? And what's a piece of advice that you'd give to someone else who's in the film? Like we're about to make, uh, we're making a film festival here to share with our peers and our community. And uh, we just want advice from someone who's been in the industry. So what could you tell us that could help us in the future? So I wouldn't say for me, it was the advice. I think it was a person and there was a documentary on the main on it's called like the federal channel of Russia. And it was talking about the Russians that made it in Hollywood. And they were talking about this agent whose name was Victor Kruglov. I show up at this guy's office, like with a little short, short hair, pixie cut. And I'm like, hi, my name is Elena Sevastikova. I'm from Russia. My mom saw you on television. She told me to come see you. And I heard you're an agent. You should represent me. And this guy was like, oh my gosh, who is this child that is so naive and so green that, you know, just has the balls to like, it was almost like cute. The fact that I thought this is how the world worked. It was like, okay, Elena Sevastikova from Russia. Um, I just so happened to receive an audition today that you fit the look. Let's see how you do. I'm going to send it to you. And you know, if you do well, I'll sign you. This is what a gem of a human being he is. He believed in me so much that I was renting a room from him before I found my apartment. He literally, and I didn't have any money. So he's like, I'll just take it out of your first check. This doesn't happen, by the way. This is like, this sounds like a Cinderella story. Nobody, you know how many actors come to Los Angeles and it, it just like, they have no money. Like nobody just believes in you and lets you live there until you get your first paycheck. He paid for my acting classes. He this, he literally sent me to all, he picked up the phone. And he's like, hey, I want you to see this girl to the casting directors. And uh, then I, when I booked my first role, which was a big, like, you know, the Mindy Project, the pilot for the Mindy Project. Um, he, that's the first, and that's when he deducted the expenses from that. Like, I would not be where I am without my manager. And he's my manager to this day. The advice that I would give beginning actors would be treat yourself as your own business, you know, because you are, it's hard not to take things personally, but you really shouldn't. You're your own business, create a business plan. What kind of roles do I want to be playing? Okay, great. What do I need to do to get there? Get to know the casting directors, get to know, uh, like nowadays, all the information is online. There's so many resources out there. Get to know the industry, really, like be in acting class, surround yourself, like really suck it all in, understand. And then if you don't get something, it's always an experience. Um, you put all those things very beautifully. And just the last thing is a little closing statement. Uh, where are you today? Is there any projects coming out that you'd like to advertise to college students on this campus or anyone else who's in the Birmingham community that might see this? Or anything else you just want to plug real quick before we close? I have a film coming out this Friday, October 29th, in theaters and on demand. It's called 40 Love. Um, and this particular film is very, very special to me because I couldn't have written a better script for myself. It's a rom-com. Fred Wolf is a director, incredible director. You guys should check it out and let me know what you think.
All right. Thank you so much. I'll definitely be checking out that movie. Um, but I really appreciate you giving your time here today. And I really hope that people can get a message from this and listen to everything you said and maybe just motivate themselves to push farther to follow their passions like you did. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me.